She wants to take a picture with you. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Why? <laughs> An unusual trend has been happening across the country. Creepy clowns have been hanging out in random parts of town. Creepy clown sightings. There have been four in the last three days. New developments tonight in the creepy clown craze. Reports keep coming in. I know you've surely heard about a few of them, but they are causing some new concerns here in North Texas. And now they're threatening schools on Long Island. This is cell phone video of a person dressed as a clown walking down West Ridge Road, not far from the Grease Ridge Mall. The person took the video Sunday night. I seen a clown, I put it on Facebook, for them to actually know that it was a clown out here. Creepy clowns making their way to Monroe. I was like, ah, oh, Lord, oh no, so I'm, I'm about to run, but I was like, nah, too much stuff been going on, so I pulled my phone out. And he got it all on video. Since posting the video to Facebook, it's been viewed nearly 50,000 times, but many viewers are calling it a bluff. People have been saying it's fake, but you know, the reason why I got closer to it is because so I can get a better view of the clown. Martin says the clown chased him, but what happened after that, he doesn't know, because he was too scared to look back. I didn't see nothing. Like I didn't look back. Like This isn't the first creepy clown video to go viral. Well, across the country, we've seen this trend. Um, we have... Uh, about 20 states involved in clown threat. There is a clown standing on that street corner. A creepy clown spotted late Monday night on a street corner at Washington Avenue and Apple Street in Dixon. This video of the sighting posted on Facebook Monday night shows the clown approaching a car with a group of boys inside. Oh my God, what the <laughs> Yeah, what the <laughs> The group drove away unhurt but sightings of creepy clowns are on the rise nationwide. There is a disturbing trend, creepy trend you might call it, sweeping through Canada and the United States. So-called creepy clowns are being spotted doing creepy things, including waving weapons at members of the public. They haven't hurt anyone, but they're causing a lot of concern, especially with some folks on social media, as happening both in Atlantic Canada and parts of the States. This is a very strange story. Yeah, and there's no real answer to why this is happening, and I think that's why everybody's on this story. We mm. put a story up on our website on Saturday, and this is still our top story because everyone wants to know what's going on, are these threats, why is this happening? And we're seeing cases in the U.S., like several states, and uh, we're also getting some out in Nova Scotia now, too, so this is spreading into Canada. Creep. There's a clown in my woods inside my house. A what? A clown. Okay. He was just standing there. And listen to a woman calling 911 here on clowns in Cincinnati. I just got chased by a clown up into my door of my apartment. I just ran as fast as I could up into the balcony and shut my door. This YouTube video recorded in Sims Park was posted Saturday night. It's been shared on Facebook with warnings not to go near. You can see a masked figure lurking and hear two voices. Is he wearing a clown mask? That's creepy. Yo, just standing there. What the fuck? I'm out, dude. Fuck that. Nah, man, nah. Oh, That's the last these guys saw of the clown. Alex Ruelis used Snapchat to record the incident, which shows what looks like a machete in the clown's hand. Today, he showed us where it happened. I'm pretty sure this is like where the light shines, and then he was over behind the pole, under the canopy. Ruelis says he was surprised to see a clown here, and couldn't help but turn around. It's kind of funny, it's kind of uh, amusing, and then when he started running at us with the machete, that's when it kind of sunk in. Incidents involving clowns have been on the rise around the country since August. Some making threats to schools and even offering candy to lure kids into the woods. Some speculate that last night's incident was a hoax, but Ruelas says it was nothing like that. 
This is video posted on Twitter by Chris Henkel of a creepy clown spotted at a car wash at Moravian Drive and Cass Avenue in Clinton Township. It happened at 3 a.m. on Saturday. What would you do if you were trying to wash your car and you saw that clown? Wash my car. <laughs> Good answer. Here's surveillance video of the suspect entering the Walgreens in Brownstown at West and Telegraph. He raises the gun and immediately threatens employees. This person was not uh, hindered by the weapon. He seemed to look pretty comfortable with it. He took three to four hundred dollars from the clerk and left. The next robbery happened about an hour later at a BP. Look at this still shot. He looks very similar. Then the suspect hit a Domino's, all off US 23. All but. What the f is this dog? What is this? What Park in Modesto. Cell phone footage shows a person dressed in a black robe with bright red hair, what many call a creepy clown, and what many say is an unwelcome sight. Kind of terrifying. I don't like it. The costume mystery has been spotted throughout the region with reported sightings in Fairfield, Elk Grove, Woodland, and throughout Modesto. It's a spooky trend that is popping up around the country, and now it's happening here in Maine. I'm really afraid. I didn't know I was afraid of clowns until now. The most recent clown sighting was near an apartment complex in Orono. My friend texted me a picture and she goes, please lock your doors tonight, and it was a picture of a clown that someone saw across the street from our building. People have even reported that they tried to lure their children into the woods. And this picture is making the rounds here in Oklahoma. People thought clowns were in our school and that they were like going to kill a bunch of people. Adeline Smith goes to Jenks. She says she saw this picture a couple days ago. It shows a clown hiding and the text says it's in the school. And that's not all. I found this Facebook post from one Jenks mom who says an Instagram user named Calico the Killer Clown messaged her daughter asking where she goes to school. The account has since been deleted. Skyatook, Oklahoma City, and Hominy have all had similar scares. This is allegedly the photograph that circulated social media Tuesday night. A clown spotted various times between 10 and midnight by the McDonald's on King Street in Northampton. The Northampton sighting was around the same time UMass Amherst students went looking for an alleged clown on campus, and several days after this New England Scarefest promotional video went viral. With all the incidents related to clowns that have been going on over the past month or so, not a good idea to to dress up as a clown, and especially if you have a fake weapon. Kalikwe Owens recalls his Wednesday night drive home along Comac Road in Brentwood this week as ominous, like a scene out of a horror movie. I see a clown right, right in the middle of the street, full clown suit, clown mask, with a long object that looked like a bat in his hand, just standing there. He started to drive off and saw another. And then the second clown, I guess he was kneeling, and then he just decides to stand up real slowly, just just looking at me drive past. <laughs> that is the sound of a creepy clown charging a car in Poway, captured on video just a few hours ago. It is the first local sighting in this freaking nationwide craze. Now take a look at the video that the guy posted on his Snapchat. He says that he saw three people wearing clown masks sitting on the railing near the burger factory. When they saw that he was recording them with his phone, he says that one of them charged his car and then they all ran. He says they actually scratched his car. He wasn't sure if they were kids or adults and he was so freaked out he didn't want to show his face when he talked to us. It's people, whatever they were, uh, sitting on the railing with clown masks on and they were dressed up. And um, I pull out my phone to Snapchat it and they run up, one of them runs up to my car squeaking his horn and then he just rams into the side of my car. So what did your dad say happened? He said he was just coming back from coaching and he said three people dressed up as clowns just ran right in front of his car. And just like he said, he almost hit one of them. Our other big story tonight, a teen is under arrest for threatening a teacher on social media. The girl allegedly tried to use a recent popular scare tactic. She reportedly asked someone using a clown photo as their profile picture to kill her teacher at Davis Middle School in Hampton. This comes days after threats across the country, including him. It sounds too bizarre to be true, but Hampton City Police are taking this threat very seriously. I'm just freaking out because I'm going all over Instagram and all I see is, oh, clowns, 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 you know? How does this, how does this, how does something like this go worldwide?